We are back in business. Yes, the wind and the waves have returned and just in time because the 2023 PWA Grand Slam here in Pozo kicks off tomorrow. I did say Grand Slam because we've got Wave and Slalom. Slalom returning after 14 year break here in Pozo. That excitement is off the scale. The guys have been training and the girls have been training the last few days and it is looking insane. The waves are also on. It looks like we're going to be kicking off with waves tomorrow because the forecast is insane. We're going to see big waves. We're going to see the top guys in the world holding it on. And we have got some crazy rankings at the moment. Yes, Ricardo Campello leading at the moment. Baptiste Clarec, after winning uh, in Fiji, is up in second place. So it is all on. But here in Pozo, it can spin around. There's a lot of talk. Is Costa fit? Well, I saw him the other day and he wasn't walking great. I filmed him on the water. He didn't look great. I had a quick word there and I said, you're not walking great, mate. And he went, I'm not paid to walk. What does that mean? Cryptic. Is he going to sail? He's going to give it a go for sure. So it is all on. We've seen Marino Gill training here and he is looking on fire. One of the fastest guys on the water. He's going massive. Mark Paré, another guy who wants to get on the podium and probably win this event. Brasinho, a disaster in Fiji. He is going to be going all guns blazing. And then we've got the young guns. We've got to talk about the women. Dida Moreno didn't go to Fiji. She's got new board sponsor this year with Bruce Board. So she's going to be fighting for that top spot and keep her crown as the queen of Pozo. But it's not going to be easy. We've got Sarah Keita off Ringer. We've got Lena Erpenstein, Justina Schnaddy. All these girls are going to be going for it. Plus a whole host of other names, which are too many to name. And then we've got the slalom. <laughs> and we've got Maciek Rakowski heading up the rankings. Last year's world champion leading this year. He's looking unstoppable. But Pozo is going to have a say in that. Are we going to see new names at the top? Jordi Vong's been looking fast. Enrico Marotti, Pierre Mortafon. They're all in the mix. Can Yakino make a run for it? We haven't seen guys competing in these conditions, so we could see some upsets. Let's see. We've also got the women slalom riders here, and they chose not to take the wild card slalom sale choice, which means they can't take a smaller sale. What they registered at the beginning of the year, they have to use here. Did they register small enough? Are the conditions going to go crazy? Will Marion Mortifon take the title? Delphine Cousin Castell or Sarah Keita? She has also entered into the mix. Um, it is crazy. And we do have a new girl at the top of the rankings. 
Justine Lementier. How will she fare in these crazy conditions of Pozo? We've also got the juniors, the youths, and apparently there's a master's division. Yes, there is a rumour that yours truly could be entering. Uh, but anyway, that's enough of me rambling on. I think we should go to the beach and have a chat with some of the players. Malta Rusha, he's here for the slalom. Uh, yes. Give me some first impressions of sailing in Pozo. I think that it's, it's really, really hard, but funny because Finally, we are, we are racing with the smaller stuff. So I was yesterday with my 5.7. It's super choppy, but I can't wait to, to race tomorrow. What's the feeling in the, in the area, foil or fin? Is, it, is there a chance that we could see the foil at the front or is it too windy? I think it's too windy because yesterday, I think that driving is not so easy with the foil. So maybe on the straight, the, same, the, the speed is the same, but then on the jibe, you know, with the slalom, you can do a smaller jibe and you can just, you can just uh, jibe safe. But with a foil, sometimes you need to do a longer, longer jibe and then uh, you lose some, some time, yeah. Okay, interesting, interesting. All right, mate, well, good luck this week. Okay, good luck, thank you. We're used to you doing the wave and I'm talking to you as if it's normal, but you're doing the slalom here in Pozo this year. You are a Grand Canaria local. You could have an advantage because you can register gear for Pozo, whereas a lot of the guys have registered for the whole season. Do you think that could help? Uh, in theory, yeah, but <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't really have anything that different. So okay. I, I, I'm, my smallest sale I'm registering will be a 5.2. Oh, okay. Which is slight, I think, like I know my check smallest is a 5.9, for example, but uh, um, Kosan, I think he's got a 5.0. So oh, okay. um, where I might have a bit of an advantage, my small board is actually a bit smaller, but that's, Again, it's not really a poser thing. It's like when I used to compete in Fuerta, I always had a, my small board was always slightly smaller than the rest, just because. Which is how big? Uh, it's nine. It's 90 litre, but it's 58. Uh, no, 59 wide, rather than most guys are on 63 wide. So in theory, that's an advantage, but it's not. It's not a specific advantage for me here because that's that's what I've always used. Okay. You know, even in Fuerta back in the day. So have you had a chance to line up with any of the the top boys yet? Uh, yeah, I prefer actually sailing on my own. On my own, I'm flying, I'm going really, really well. I think I was about the fastest out there. And then when I lined up with the others, they were faster, so... It's <laughs> Just to give people an idea at home, what sort of top speed are you reaching out there? Or what type of speed? Do you know, do you, you speak well, to the other boys? What, what no, but like, um, yes, yes, they have my watch on. And like, I know, I know that like when, when I go like free sailing here, we tend to like, you know, go off the wind and look, look a bit more on the watch. So... Kind of a 31 knots would be a good speed okay. when it's choppy and windy like this. Go on. Go on. Beautiful, mate! <laughs> Jesus! It's quite hard to even stand on a beast, let alone yeah. carry your gear. Maciek Rakowski, current reigning world champion, current tour leader. Are you feeling the pressure? Current Crocs wearer, <laughs> current uh, short break uh, victim. How is it? <laughs> it's, uh, it's fun. I mean, Except the launch is a pain in the ass and I have a million things to, to try and tune and stuff. So yeah, waste like double the energy per run. But other than that, it's really fun. It's uh, yeah, it's going to be exciting for sure. What, what's the process here to, to tune and train? You go out, a couple of runs, come back in, tweak something. Is that, is that just genuinely it? Yeah, that's what you do normally. Here maybe you want to have like double, like two runs instead of one before you change something because you, your test partner might get a worse run, you might get a better run, so to get a really good feel. And what you're looking for is to have that consistent flight, like not uh, hitting because it's super choppy. So you, you want to kind of hover above the chop, but don't take off, you know? Yeah. So you're looking for that really fine uh, fine balance. It's, it's, uh, it's a task. I was going to say, that sounds like perfect live stream type stuff. It's hovering on the edge of dying. What speed are you getting on the watch? 
Uh, it's not that fast actually, like 34 peaks. Like if you're doing over 32 on 10 seconds, it's already good. So okay. it's, yeah, there's a lot of chops, a lot. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Does, does a tide affect things? Because we got really big tides at the moment, probably the biggest they get. I think that's what actually gives uh, more chop because there's more water moving, right? So, but I don't know because yesterday on high tide, it was a lot smoother. So I thought, ah, high tide smoother. And now I'm sailing on high tide and it's gnarly. So I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mate. Well, good luck this week. Thank you. All right, Pierre Mortifon, we're back in Pozo. Have you ever sailed here before? No. So you missed it? Yeah. So in 2009, how old were you? Uh, 20. Oh. And I was starting the tour, but uh, it's the event I miss. I miss this year. I arrived the year after, unfortunately. Okay. So, first time in Pozo, what's yeah. your feelings? Ah, super happy. Super happy because uh, we didn't raise the fin since two years and uh, yesterday we had a super good day. It, the, the, the place is going really fast. I had some really good speed on the, on the watch, but uh, you need to watch out. There is some, uh, some bump. I, I saw around. a few good crashes <laughs> yesterday. What speed have you been getting on the watch? Yeah, I went 36 top speed yesterday. Okay, yeah. that no, makes... so it's faster. Okay, that is quick. It's fast. There is place. And before, I trained a bit in South of France, in Le Jai, the famous Le Jai, which is maybe a bit harder than here. Yeah. And uh, it was much slower. But the, the thing is, you go really fast, which make the crash even harder. <laughs> so yes. you need to watch out a bit, but it's really cool that we are back here. Yeah, who, who, who should we be looking out for this week? Who's like the ones in the stronger winds who could maybe push up or, you know, are we gonna see uh, the usual sure, names? For sure, there is Matteo. In the past, in, the last windy event was Fuerte 2019. Yeah. And it was Antoine and Matteo. Antoine is not there. I was ex I was expecting him here. Me too. I'm disappointed really? <laughs> he's not here. I got. I was sure he's gonna make the surprise because I I know he was uh, he was destroying the place in the past. Yeah. So and finally not. No, but there is Matteo, there is Macek, there is Antoine. Is also in France. We we know how is it the strong yes. wind. So, but yesterday I also sailed with Loan, the young Guadeloupe yes. Guadeloupe guy, and he was he was going really fast. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting so one. It open, might, it might yeah, we might throw up a few because we've been doing so much foil yeah, that people's brains sure. start to twist on what's happening, and this could be whole, whole and different. Well, I hope it really be like uh, clear that we go thin or we go foil, not like yeah. on the middle like we have the last week. If we go foil, it's good. Yeah. But having something clear. Yeah. Because for sure, when you launch here yeah. with the foil, it's tricky, even with the fin. So yeah, let's see. Okay. Good luck, man. Thanks. What are you going on now? 5.8. Five, 5.8. Eight. Five, eight. <laughs> <laughs> Interest, you're obviously local to here. What's your take on the forecast this week? Well, I'm really confused. I mean, it's been the worst June that I can ever remember since I've been here. I've been living here 15 years or something, and it's by far the worst June. Um, and, and worse than that, it's kind of like the forecast not being very, you know, you'd look at it and go, like, ah, for sure it's going to be good, and it wouldn't be. And But it looks pretty good to be honest yeah. like considering we've had nothing for ages the forecast i mean the next three days i mean first these waves now yeah i think it's supposed to be bigger the next two days isn't it yeah. so it looks good i um, think waves straight away i think yeah that's the thing, what, what i've heard is like yes yeah, saturday sunday will be waves and i heard they booked the boats for slalom on monday tuesday wednesday so yeah. that's what i heard but i i don't know marino marino you are the fastest on the water uh, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> no, this guy, you are going so fast and so high. I was watching last night. You, your jumping has always been good, but I feel like it's going next level. What moves have you been working on? Doubles, just doubles, doubles and push forwards. That's what I've been working this last year. And yeah, then landed the double for two days completely, then stall doubles. and. Just keep on building. <laughs> when did you start landing stall doubles? Uh, I don't know. I did like a few good doubles on one day, and then that same evening I tried the first stall double and landed. <laughs> yes, I tell you what, watch this kid this week. Because last year you were looking so good, but you missed the double. Yeah. I'm guessing that's the motivation. Yeah, like last year I was like so close of making it against Brausinho and a few other guys. 
and I finished six, I think, last year. So I think this year with the double and stall doubles might be better. Yeah. <laughs> and so. what's interesting actually this year, as we've already talked about, there hasn't been much wind in the build-up. You being a local, you definitely, I would say, have the advantage then. Yeah, I think being from here and sail a little bit the whole year here might might help a little bit. So <laughs> I hope it works. <laughs> yeah. What's your goals for this year? Ah, uh, I I don't know. I just want to do it good. Try to be on the top five or something like that. And if it's better, for sure I'll take it. <laughs> okay. Well, good luck, mate. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Oh, twin fin. Twin fin. Uh, Japanese style of the fin. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. What's going on here? All good, all good. You broke it? Yeah, I go bunker. Oh, no. And then I hit the locks. Yeah. Just everything go wrong. Oh, shoot. Before the contest. Uh, I, I tried the double. Uh, it, it was so full power and good waves. And then uh, almost the third rotation oh, in really? the year with the double. Did you land it? No. Oh. It's, but it's so painful. <laughs> um. <laughs> Is this a cloud break tattoo? Yeah, I love it. Wow, man, that's pretty rad. That is oh, mad. Yeah. That's, it's better. Yeah, it's better. good. But that was your head hitting the reef in Fiji? Yeah. It's, I, cra I, I tried the area, I crashed, I let out, and then bang, in the hit of my... But you are fourth in the world. Yeah, I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So it was worth it. Well, Are you ready for Pozo? Yeah, for sure. I've seen your doubles are getting better. Yeah. Yeah? Actually, I, I landed, uh, I think, 14 really? double yesterday. Okay. So they are getting better. Yeah, it's getting better, better. Mr. Chapuis, you were late. I just arrived, <laughs> actually. <laughs> Where I, have you been? I've been at home, actually. Have you been, been good in Tarifa? Uh, uh, Not really, but actually last week, even better than here, because... Okay. I was I had the flight for the 17th in first place, but it was so bad that I changed the flight and actually in Tarifa I sailed like five days in a row. Okay. Two days like with small chops where I could jump a bit and the rest freestyle, but at least I was in the water, so that's appreciated actually. Yeah, for sure. And I also came here in May, at the beginning of May, and I came five days. It was epic and at least I got some training but yeah. let's see, let's see. Wait, the forecast looks good for the comp. First day looks wavy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like good waves. Tomorrow is solid. I think it's one of the best days I've seen the contest in some years. Yeah. I, like, I don't remember having real good waves here for a contest. So the action is going to be quite nice, I think. All right. Well, good luck, man. Thank you. This year, she didn't go to Fiji, but uh, this is your first time on the world tour this year. Feeling confident? Uh, well, I did break my hand earlier this year, so I missed the first two events, but I feel pretty good normally in Pozo, but we didn't have much win. Um, I felt really good here, end of the year last year, we spent three months uh, training here. Um, and we had a lot of win, but it wasn't like normal, like it was down the line for sevens, for twos, three sevens. Uh, today I was first on three three, but the wind dropped, so I had to re rig on three seven. Uh, last night I had a three three session in Vargas, so... I'd much rather have wind for the competition and not have it now than another way around, so, you know. Good, good point. <laughs> I mean, I spent a lot of time here in the wind, so I prefer th this place. It's so much easier to sell when it's really windy because you get waves. Morgan, Morgan's been trading Port Tark. A little, yeah, I've been trying to. <laughs> I'm going to say, you got, I mean, people have probably seen the video. If you haven't, check it out online. But there's a Port Tark wave in Maui, which looks crazy. Yeah, it's a bit like... I guess people were going and sailing there back in the day and then like no one, everyone stopped going and then Rao just, I guess he was biking on the road like it's pretty far up and I guess he saw it and then he like figured out how to get to it and stuff and then But so, it's in the middle of nowhere. It is in the middle of nowhere. It's like a really, really like, I don't think you can find a harder drive or um, we can kind of sail up but that takes a really long time well, as well but it works pretty often during the summer so it's good like before we come here <laughs> yeah so you've had a bit of port attack training how much sailing have you been here in Pozo? Uh, this will be my third day we sailed like one day in Ojos and then yesterday was fun and then um, and then today again yeah. but I didn't feel too weird sailing so it's good like I've, I don't know I don't feel too bad, so it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Coming from the Maui boys, but I've seen you've added some doubles to your repertoire. I've been trying, yeah, I've been working on it. I definitely feel a little better. I did a, tried a few yesterday, and not, not, haven't clicked quite yet, but um, I'm sure I'll get them. Okay, yeah. well, good luck with the competition. Perfect, thanks, Ben. Right, good man. to see you.
Feeling good being back in Pozo? I guess you haven't done much training. Yeah, yeah, it's the first year I come so late, but apparently I haven't missed uh, anything. It's kind of stressful not being like the first one out there, but uh, it's also good to, to take it easy. And uh, I know what I have to do anyways. Uh, I mean, yeah, we know. So yeah. What's, what moves are we going to see from Anton Martin this week? Well, uh, triple push loop, triple forward. <laughs> first round and then maybe I go for something else uh, for the next round <laughs> and he sounds like he's joking but I actually I've seen this I have seen the triple back <laughs> yeah no but of course we're gonna see some stall doubles and I think that's the that's the ultimate goal to to go through the the rounds and uh, push forward if there is any ways so yeah all the big moves all right man good luck doing well in the World Cup now what third yeah, yeah, I'm actually third. Uh, that's a pretty good start. I mean, that's one of the better starts I've ever had. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to keep going all the way to Hawaii and let's see, you know. Okay. We still have a long year ahead, you know, like three, three more events. So I'm staying focused. Good luck, dude. Thank you very much. Right. Okay, so here we are with Jonas, uh, the main man at Pozo Wins, and we are going to ask him for his predictions on the competition. Who is your top three bets? In the waves, Brausinho, uh, Philip, no. He didn't look so good yesterday with his foot, but he, it's, it's difficult to bet against him, even if he had one leg. But okay, <laughs> Philip, no. Uh, Brausinho and uh, Mark, and maybe Marino. It's a good call. I tell you what, it's a good call. He's been looking good in the women. Saragita, Daida and Lina. Lina, no? Okay, there you go. There you heard it from the main man himself. If you are coming to Pozo, Pozo wins. <laughs> so some interesting predictions there, but he did leave out a one guy. One guy that is leading the tour right now, Ricardo Campello. I think we need to mention him because I've just seen him do his first run. Check this out. Are you kidding me? Push forward perfect into massive stall double. That guy means business. Could this be the year? We'll have to wait and see. Uh, but we've got to move on. I think we should go to the women's slalom. Oh, been... <laughs> <laughs> I was like, who's it? <laughs> Why are they looking at me? me. <laughs> Justine, yeah. leading the world tour. Yeah. Yeah. Excited, excited to be yeah, at the exciting. top. Yeah, for sure. For uh, same. Just give because people won't know your name. You've pretty much just burst onto the scene. Yeah. How many PWA events have you done? I did Marignan in France before, but we didn't yeah, race. Yeah, okay. Okay, so it means uh, Japan? Japan and uh, in uh, Garda. And second and first. Okay. Yeah. Second and first <laughs> in two events. So she's pretty good. Um, how are you liking Pozo? Your well, first it's, time here? Yeah, it's crazy. Just just looking, at it, I could stay here for hours. It's just, <laughs> it's just amazing. Then going out, it's a bit more tricky. I've been sailing an hour yesterday. I feel uh, broken from everywhere. Really? So. What, what were you on yesterday? What gear? 5088. So, but it was a uh, it was soft for Pozo, and with the small gear, everybody was already flying. Yeah. And I was sometimes like the jab were okay, but just sometimes on the straight line, you're just. <laughs> so the girls voted not to have a smaller sail, didn't they? Is that what they're Yeah, we, <laughs> yeah, everybody, fine. There's one girl was against, okay. most of the girls were four, but we're, yeah, okay. wanted to have one. So gonna... have you got a smaller sail? I, I have, I have, a, I have a wave sail, yes. ready to go. Okay. And but, uh, we'll see, because like, yesterday was really, it was easier than today, I think, and we are already, uh, Flying, okay. it's going to be the same for everyone. So I mean, it's the game. Huh? It's going to be exciting. It's going to be it? exciting. Yeah, super exciting. It's, it's funny. I think the first time I did a pillow with wind. Yeah. So yeah, it was proper. already. It was yeah, with proper wind. So it's going to be exciting to see. Who, who are going to be the main contenders in the women's fleet in the strong wind? Who would you say has got the? I mean, like we're not a lot of girls, but yeah. it's just on the field, I think it's good, great, great level. But Mario and Delphine already. Delphine has five titles on the field. Yeah. Uh, Jenna, we know on the field she's super fast. Uh, I mean everybody. Yeah. Like yeah, it's, it's gonna be really interesting because I think it's nine girls that are on the team uh, are playing. And it'd be one fleet, the final every race. Uh, I think yeah. it's yeah for sure. With nine girls, 
for sure. Exciting, exciting. Yeah, it will be exciting. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's going to be All interesting. All right, well, good luck. Yeah, thank you. Right, See you. Jenna Gibson, are you ready for Pozo? Uh, I don't think you can ever really be ready, can you? Um, I'm excited, that's for sure. First time here? It is, yeah. Just what? about to head out for the first time. Is this the first day? This, this will be the, yeah. Okay. Well, this, to be fair, <laughs> seems tame. I think. <laughs> well, I don't know. No, there's actually bigger waves today. Okay. So okay. than there has been. So the shore breaks a bit more, a bit more hassle. So what, okay. what are you going on? What gear? Uh, five oh. So small, smallest. And what's your smallest board? Ninety nine. Okay. Well, I'm going to let you get out there because <laughs> I want to speak to you after you've been out there. That's what we really want to hear. Yeah. So good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Back on the fin. Yes, back on the fin for sure. Because you've been doing a lot of foiling recently. You've been doing a bit of Olympic foiling as well. Yeah, yeah, I am. But uh, yes, no, uh, I sailed yesterday. It was good. Already pretty power in 5.0. Yeah. So I hope it will not be so much uh, windy for the competition. But uh, anyway, let's see. And it looks like it's going to be one fleet for the women. So, you know, if you mess up, it will yeah. change the results quite a lot, I guess. Yes, I think it will be easy to do a lot of races. I think it's 12 maximum, yeah. I heard, so probably four, four per day is going to be good. And uh, yeah. Okay, I hope you've been training them legs. It's yeah. going to be a, a tough one. Miss Mortifon. Uh, looking forward to Pozo? Uh, yes. <laughs> I, I like the strong wind. I'm happy to go back with the fin to change a bit. Um, Yes, let's what, what size were you on yesterday? What, what, you, what have you registered as your smallest? 5.0 five oh. and, and uh, 99 uh, boards. But yeah, it, it was okay yesterday. Today looks stronger. But the thing is just to go out with the waves and the rocks, especially the rocks. Yeah, it's trickier. Look, I mean, it's getting wavier as well. By yeah, the yeah. and when we saw the wave guide uh, struggling uh, with our equipment, it's a bit harder, so <laughs> we don't know yet. <laughs> well, we will have to see. Who are we looking out for in the women? Who's going to be stepping up in these type of conditions? Well, there is a lot of girls. I think Justine and Delphine, for sure, they are uh, good in strong wind. Um, Sarah Kita, she will uh, come back also in uh, in slalom. So no, a lot, a lot of girls. We are not so much, but the level is, is good. So I think the battle will be uh, will be up. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, so there we go. The scene is set. The forecast is looking epic. But don't go anywhere because we have got a wipeout section for you guys. It would be rude not to. We've got Dangerous Day featuring. <laughs> Have you seen, have you ever seen someone destroy fins like that? That is ridiculous. I have to thank these legends or wherever they are, the beer money. This is what is making these videos happen. This is why Alfie Hart is here. That is why we're here. So massive thanks to you legends out there. Everyone has supported the channel. Um, I'll have a drink for you tonight. So that's it. Join us for Pozo. We'll be live on the PWA website from tomorrow onwards. I am so looking forward to it. Join us there. Let's check out the wipeout. Yeah, yeah, yeah.